All right, grinding pioneer again. Let's see what we get this time. Declare Yorion as our companion. Um, turn to vanishing verse. Pretty good late Niv. I think that's pretty solid. None of the combo, but we can keep it going. Start with trial. We're giving a spin with some of the new Call of Mana cards. Black into Fortsies. So if this is Mono Black or Rakdos, Vanishing Verse or Tyrant's Corn is going to be really good. My guess is they take Niv to resolve late game. Yep, there goes Niv for now. This could be Mono Black Waste Knot, which would be pretty rough to deal with. So... Let's throw the Glacial Fortress. It gives them more information, but it leaves both Scorn or Vanishing Verse open, dependent on what they do on their turn. Right, Rakdos. Concealing Curtain. This will transform... Uh, deal with that. So I'm going to Vanishing Verse that before they get a chance to flip it. This appears to be Raxos with some solid hand disruption. Okay. Let's go green, blue. Tell the suspect. Bank a clue for later. Throw down a tapland. Throw down a, a fable passage. Crack the fable passage. Grab a. Another blue, I think. No, white. We got double white. Let's get another black. In case we get more removal based in black. Okay. See what our opponent does on three. Raven Man. Bring to light a solid hit here. It's actually perfect on our draw, so let's go. Uh, red and I mean white here. Do we go for the Niv Mizzet or do we go for the Valky? I think we gotta grab Niv Mizzet here. So let's grab Reborn. This appears to be a way more really? focused in on discarding uh, set here. Abrupt Decay definitely will get removal. Uh, Vanishing Verse, another answer for things. Yep, that's a good spread. We could have took Amelia Venezuela. <laughs> we could have took Amelia, but I want to keep my options open here. This is, if this is based on Rakdos, it's probably very removal heavy, so the odds of resolving the combo is pretty low. Yeah, this deck will definitely run mainboard Fatal Pushes or um, Noxious Grasps and stuff. Alright, let's see what our opponent goes for. Four mana. Four mana could be anything, but I'm going to lean towards Yield Shieldred. It's one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of Kennen as well. If we, even if we don't have an extra land drop, we could just... Uh, blast him with We could just blast him with um, Get a clue put him in exile so he can't be discarded They take a kill him They have two mana so let's play a land crack a land We should get a second red here So all of these are instants, apart from this one. Let's just get in for six here. Alright, so this is actually going to be interesting. I think our best bet is actually going to be to hit Valky before he gets the ability to transform into... Um, hit Valky before he gets the ability to transform into Kellen. 
and we get Kellen back to hand. I forget that about this card so many times. Alright, four mana. Okay, they're gonna hit us with Raven Man, but Raven Man doesn't force you to discard on hit. I was just checking if he was like a Liliana Scepter. Second Valky coming down. Sure. We might as well abrupt decay that again. Cram session, pretty interesting. So we could run out. I'm gonna break out here, see what we can run through. Wandering mind goes to our hand. You know what? I'm gonna actually cast this Kellen from my hand. It could have removal, but. I'm tempted to just leave it like this. I'm going to stop here because I think they might have been waiting for a turn to deploy shield. No, they pass back. Interesting. So this is a discard heavy deck. I think we're going to need these soul searches. We'll try them. Excited to see if these work. Uh, what do we want? Well, these definitely do things. Hmm. Maybe we take out the breakouts. We'll take out the breakouts because actually, no, breakouts are pretty good at digging. Mm. No, we'll take out free breakouts and see how that goes. Still learning how to sideboard with the new deck. <clears throat> right, let's see what you got. Put Yorion into hand. No, into companion zone. Okay, we get potentially two cards, no mana. This is a discard deck. Unfortunately, we have to keep this. Like I said, we will need to make sure. Alright, oh, yep, we still have that on. I was pretty sure that we we're gonna try for Shieldred. Uh, let's play this tapped and see if we can get anything out of them. We didn't see any Rakdos from them though, which is quite interesting. I wonder if it's potentially because. Okay, they're pilfering us. I think I'm going to Valky them next turn if they don't force me to discard Valky. They should be scared of this combo. But at the same time, maybe they don't want me to have information on their hand. Let's see what they go for. Um, I guess they're still deciding. This could be a case of a goldfisher, and I know that's not an official term, but what I like to do with goldfishers is usually they're people that look at or get 40s to hand and go see what is my opponent doing. Right, let's get info on the opponent here. Let's see what their hand suggests. Vampire Nighthawk, yeah. I will take a night. Oh, that is a good. So they could transform the eye here. Does it get any? It becomes a free forward menace. That would be uh, potentially an issue. But this is a flying lifelink death touch rogue. So we know their hand, they've used that. We took that. So they have an unknown, oh wait, no, they have Blood Crypt. Interesting, we take Ring to Light. Wait, 
when did we draw another it's fine attack in here we're not cracking the fabled yet because since it doesn't come into play untapped we need to know what our opponent's going to do with their turn So there goes Blood Crypt. So we know about a Pilfer in their hand. We don't know what the other two are. They take the Niv. Interesting. Okay, so let's wait till the end step because it could still have something like a Fortsies. So we don't know any of their two cards. Let's crack a Fabled. We should grab a red for removal here. Then we Molten Collapse, kill that. Alright, attack him with the Valky. They could still just have removal, which would be probably one of the worst, well not the worst, but it'd be rough. This is why ultimately though you can't mulligan against heavy discard decks. Okay, Graveyard Trespasser, gonna start eating our stuff. Right, we are drawing, well, everything that we don't need, if I'm honest. Yeah, this is actually good. So we'll attack in with the flying Death Touch Lifelinker. Oh, we need white mana. Desperately. Oh, they had the Murderous Rider. And they get their Rider back. And they drew a four. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, we ultimately lost this one. Alright, so they are creature based. Ultimately, we had a pretty good thing. It's just, yeah, I still think the deck was fine. Like I said, those three, four discard spells into like perfect curves is nigh unbeatable with a lot of um, decks. No black, but we do have two cards which need to be answered. Let's hope we draw a black this time. Play Temple Garden tapped, pass back. They have a seventh, but they didn't go into Fort Seas. Again, we don't have. Okay, we'll play this because it's got to come in tapped. Oh, wait, we do have a black. Oh, we ha they played Yagmoth. Duh. I gotta get more alert at what the opponent plays. They take the abrupt decay, interesting. We'll play this tapped and we'll drop the Amelia. Because if they want to use their removal on it, it's still gonna cost them life. And if they're using removal, then they're not using discard and disruption. Be kidding me. Well, like I said, it's very clear sometimes when you're, uh, when, shall we say, the gods don't favor you. Necronemia, that's fine. Let's see what they name.
probably Reborn. Reborn is definitely one of the, uh, yeah, they'll get two copies of Reborn. So we need to try and draw, oh, without Reborn, what do we get? Well, we Bring to Light would definitely be the best hit here. It's three copies, right? My bad. And a concealing curtain. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's destroy this. Blue, black. Then let's tell the suspect to get killing out of Forty's range. Plus bank a clue for later if they want to try and uh, resolve that. What is their red splash? Valky, is it? Is it just a discard deck that runs Valky? Okay. Let's go red, blue, one. Wandering Mind. Wandering Mind will grab us. Cosmic Rebirth. Pretty good. Then we'll pass back. See what our opponent does. They've got one card in hand. They play Castle Lockwain. Play a shieldred. That's not a big deal. Let's just draw though to try and find something. Could be a problem if they can. Uh... Okay, we can play this. Conic Rebirth. Return the shieldred. Not the shield, sorry. Return the uh, Wandering Mind. That finds us. Scorn. Right. Not a big fan of that, but we're going to keep Scorn. Because if they go for the activation, we've got to bounce it back to their hand. So they draw a card with Lock Rain, go down to 21. I think we can take a hit from Shieldred here. We still don't know what this last card in their hand is, so let's wait. Hmm, they're definitely taking their time on something. Necronamia. So they have a second Nemia. What are they going to name here? Probably the Bring to Light. Okay, see what they choose. Oh, they went for the combo. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Wild Growth Walker. Okay, so my choices are either Bounce or Cycle. The Bounce is still useful, and since we know our opponent is tapped out, let's go with the Cycle. Draws us another land, which isn't great. What do we get from that? Valky, oh that's huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. 
100% yes. Okay. Uh, they have no cards in hand. Shieldred could hit for four. Do I plus Tybalt or minus? I mean, the Shieldred's pretty cool. But card advantage is better. I'm going to plus. Liliana, that's a clean answer. We'll hit him for two with the Wandering Mind because we can. Okay. Let's see what they draw. Alright, they go for the attack on Tybalt. There's only seven in our graveyard. It's a Raven Man. Draw a card. Play another land. Oh, this is this is beautiful. So let's play a land. Let's plus Tybalt. Because we can. So let's play this Liliana. Because we can. Let's Tyrant Scorn. Destroy this. Man, this is only possible. So we Tyrant Scorn, kill that. We will then Liliana, force you to sacrifice a Shieldred. Can I? No, I can't cast Killing from the sideboard. Okay. With that in mind, we now have two set up Planeswalkers. I want to remind attack in and withdraw in cards. Let's see what they draw on their turn. Right, crack in the Lock Wayne's a good result. They play a land and they have five mana left. Hmm, nothing from there. So, I'm going to exile the top card of each player's library. Uh, it's all good stuff, so let's play a Swamp. Vanishing Verse would be pretty solid here, but I think the best option here is keep their hand low, like they're keeping mine low. Um, a Cram Session. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's perfect, so. It's Mascot Exhibition. Let's go for the full Exhibition here. Seven. And they're gonna concede to the mascot exhibition. Good show on there. Man, top decking that Tybalt did it. That's the danger of taking out Niv. You think that you've got the game from there, but honestly, there's so much value you can just get from just the good cards in the deck. And yeah, as you see there, we run without a Niv in the second match.